Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tobias and in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Mono DM30 USB condenser microphone. And the audio that you're actually hearing right now is actually coming from the DM30. I have it right here on my desk in front of me. I want to say it's roughly, I would say two and a half hand lengths away from my mouth. So first, I'll show you guys the unboxing of this microphone, which I recorded a little bit earlier today. We'll go over all the features that this microphone has to offer. Then we'll do several different audio tests so we can get an idea of how this microphone sounds. And in the end, I'll tell you guys what I think about it and give you guys my final review. And just really quick, this microphone goes for $46.99 on Amazon. So we are in that budget under $50 microphone range. And I'll go ahead and put the link to this Amazon page down in the description below in case you would like to check that out for yourself. And if this video helps you out or if you just like this video at any point, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. If you would like to see more review videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. And let's jump straight into the unboxing. Boxing. As you can see, inside the box there is the mic on a desk stand, the user manual, and a USB-C cable with a USB-A adapter on it. So you have the choice of plugging this microphone into either a USB-C port or a regular USB-A port. When you look at the mic, one of the first things that you'll probably notice when you plug it into the computer are the RGB lights that turn on on the bottom of the microphone. There are several different colors that you can choose from by clicking the button on the bottom of the mic, including a setting that kind of loops through all of the colors. And of course, there is an off setting so you can turn the lights off completely if you want to. On the bottom of the microphone there is also a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio and of course there's also the USB-C port. The base of the mic stand can also be removed and you can attach the mic holder to any mic stand that has the standard mic stand threading on it. If we take a look at the front of the microphone there is a knob in the middle which acts as a mute button if you click it and if the green light is on by itself the knob will control the input gain of the microphone. If you long press the knob, the blue light will also turn on and then the knob controls the headphone volume. If we take a look at the frequency response in the instruction manual, we'll see that it looks fairly even, although it kind of angles upwards towards the higher frequencies and then it tapers off in the high frequencies and tapers off in the low frequencies. When I plugged the DM30 into my iMac, it was automatically recognized by the computer and also automatically recognized by Logic Pro, which is the program that I'm recording the audio Audio to right now. And by the way, this is the raw audio from the microphone. I'm not doing any editing or anything like that. The only thing I might do is some volume adjustments, but I'm not altering the sound from the microphone or anything. And there is a software you can download. It's called Mono Link, and the instructions will tell you how to do that. But with this software, you should be able to control all the features of the microphone and even some additional features like EQ and compression. I won't be going over that in this video, but let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to go over that in another video. And now let's do some different audio tests. The first thing I want to do is I want to listen for the noise floor. So I'm going to stop talking for a few seconds and see if you can hear a kind of underlying hiss noise. And right now I'm tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the microphone. And right now I'm tapping on my desk around the microphone. And right now I'm whispering directly into the microphone. And right now I'm standing roughly five feet away from the DM30. Alright guys, so I just went back and listened to all that audio that I just recorded, and I gotta say, in my opinion, the Mono DM30 sounds pretty good for the price. However, it's not perfect. There does seem to be a somewhat noticeable noise floor. Most USB microphones will have some kind of a noise floor, and I do want to mention that I don't think this one was like that bad. The mic also seemed to be a bit mid-heavy. We didn't seem to really get many of the lower frequencies, and we didn't really get any of those kind of airy higher frequencies either. 
When it came to the guitar, I tried my best to point the microphone at the 12th fret, and it kind of seemed like we got a lot of the lower mids. But when it comes down to it, I do think that it's a decent sounding microphone for the price. Mono's probably my favorite budget microphone brand. They have a couple microphones that I like a lot, like the PM401 or the PM421. But anyways, I would love to know what you guys think about this microphone. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Once again, I will have the Amazon link for this microphone linked down in the description below in case you would like to check that out for yourself. And if this video did help you out or if you like this video, I I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like that would help me out so much if you would like to see more microphone reviews by me in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button i'll go ahead and put my instagram handle right here so you can follow me there and i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace